Hello dear friends, here we are again. It's still a joy to do uh, the Psalms together with you, reading through it. A Psalm a day keeps misery away and today we've come to Psalm 62. And it's a Psalm of David. Um, he is waiting for victory. He knows his victory is coming and he acknowledges that his victory is in the Lord alone. You read it for yourself, see if anything speaks to you. Um, as in many Psalms of David, they go up and down in emotions. And I'm sure you can recognize some things in your own life when you read through it. I want to stay today with verse 1. It says, I wait quietly before God, for my victory comes from Him. And at first you think, that's a contradiction. I wait quietly before God, waiting, which means being in rest for my victory comes from him we have learned or we are conditioned probably that in order to have victory we have to fight we have to argue we have to be busy we have to stand up and and and, and make a stand in order to get victory we have to fight that's that's how we see it but david says i wait quietly before god for my victory comes from him he understands that victory, true victory, comes from God. And we already have the victory in Jesus Christ. That's what the Bible says. So I think it should be good for us to have more times of quietly waiting. I'm not saying that we should be lazy. I'm not saying, saying that we should lay on the couch and eat a bag of chips and watch TV. But waiting quietly before God. Waiting for instructions. Waiting for His voice. Waiting for his presence, waiting for his touch. I think many of us, I'm certainly speaking to myself, we run ahead of God. We don't wait for him. We look behind us and go like, God, where are you? Like the psalmist, you know, have you forsaken us? Have you forgotten us? Where are you? I think we should have more times where we wait patiently and quietly before God and see what he's going to tell us today. And I hope you will hear from him today. All right. Have a good day and see you tomorrow. Bye.